uh, like opening doors from like a hermetically sealed reality into into possibilities. It's a, and it's also a way of trapping someone like me, <laughs> like who goes looking for clues and like <laughs> keeps finding them. And next thing you know, you're like, man, I've been I've been trapped in this hotel forever. I'm dreaming about this place. You know, I'm like Jack. I'm like all work and no play. <laughs> or the other way around. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Like <laughs> you're like in this loop. But you know, there's no escape routes. Like the the like I think he he puts he puts escape routes into into this into this maze and this trap. There way. I mean, there are ways out of it. I mean, Danny finds a way out of it. You know, by retracing the steps, by going backwards and forwards. And once you start, you know, studying, you know, synchronicity and, and, and symbolism, then like suddenly, like you notice in your in your own life, like things start popping out, <laughs> things that you hadn't noticed before. I mean, like your your point of view is being altered by your by your study, and. You know, it's that it's the uh, it's that it's quantum physics. You know, like the the act of observing like affects the this you know the thing observed. Would have run across that when he saw the Three Little Pigs as an Academy Award winning cartoon in 1933. So it comes out of that. Period. And so the whole idea of a wolf, which during the 1930s gradually transformed itself in popular mythology and popular culture from being a symbol of want and of hunger in the Great Depression into a symbol of enemies, uh, enemy nations, enemy peoples, uh, military aggression. And of course, this reflects the rise of fascism and Nazism in Europe. But initially, the wolf at the door was uh, an anti-Semitic stereotype and caricature. That initially, the wolf wears a disguise, and the background music is clearly Eastern European sort of klezmer or Yiddish music. And it's a, it's a classic example of early 1930s Walt Disney anti-Semitism. So I think... There are layers of meaning in The Three Little Pigs. And since Kubrick was a Freudian, and we know that he used uh, a Freudian work in doing...